everybody, it's me Gia, I'm back. Took a little hiatus from social media for like a week after I got back from Vegas and I've just been hanging out at home, working at the pony a little bit, chilling out, um, went to Dragon Con, that was awesome, and slept a whole lot because I needed it after Las Vegas. And uh, I'm here to report to you guys that I won Entertainer of the Year 2012. Exotic Dancer, there we go, awesomeness. I just wanna sit here with it like this. Um, honestly though, it's really because of you guys, all of you guys out there. Um, you know, I, I performed out there in Vegas and um, it wasn't just me up on that stage, you know? I was up there because uh, friends and fans and the magazine, Exotic Dancer magazine, nominated me and that in itself is a huge deal and um, I won because of the votes and you guys voted for me and it's all you guys you know so I feel like it's not just me that won and it wasn't just me that performed it's everybody like me it's every kid that was told they couldn't do it it was every kid that was called a dork and a nerd and a freak and um, was made to feel uncool or like they couldn't dance or like they weren't sexy or like they were too different from everybody. Um, God, you know, it's like I was the biggest nerd in high school and so what? You know, that's, that's for you guys now. This award is for you guys to show everybody out there, um, girls and guys, that it doesn't matter if you're different and it's actually very important to do your own thing because that's what I got out there and I did and for the past five years at the beginning of my career I was told that I had too many tattoos to be booked that um, I used to have my you know a couple things pierced and don't have my nose ring in right now but I used to be told you know you are not gonna be able to book you because of that you're too different and I conformed to that for a little while and I think that's when I had the biggest dip in my career honestly and uh, I think some people noticed that I had a dip in my career and I'm not afraid to admit that but you know what I went back to being who I am and who I know I am and um, everything that I like about myself and I won and it's all because you guys voted for me so I just want to say thank you to everybody out there who supported me and trust me it wasn't everybody and not everybody believed in me but for those who did this is for you guys, and I just want to take a second, not drop my camera, <laughs> I just want to take a second and really give the time to thank you guys. <laughs> the magazine for whom I am awarded Entertainer of the Year, Exotic Dancer Magazine, um, Don Waite, you know, I just want to thank you so much, Don, for helping me push through my norms as an entertainer with some of my big props that you know none of us can use in Vegas and my grinder um, you know I brought that to the entire industry years ago and you were right because that is something that I've been doing for a long time and thank you so much for helping me see that I just I need to push past what I'm used to and that's what helps us grow as entertainers. I uh, couldn't do the fire, I couldn't do any of the tricks that I'm used to. So you know what, I said I'm going to get out there and I'm going to dance my ass off. And that's what I did because, um, you know, that's what I'm known for. Booty shaking and dancing and I had a great time out there on stage and I just want to thank you for that. The entire staff of Exotic Dancer Magazine and uh, you, Don, for your advice. Thank you so much. And Kevin, for your beautiful promo. God, you make me look good. Thank you so much for the promo. Uh, I think I handed it to each and every person out in Vegas. <laughs> um, all of my photographers that also make me look good. Speaking of making me look good with my MySpace angle. <laughs> my photographers, uh, BNS Fine Art and Dwayne Hathaway and Dangerously Dolly, who I actually just shot with again today. Thank you guys so much for keeping me beautiful, making me look great, you know? Gotta have good pictures. And all of the club owners that have kept me booked over the years, you know, it's not easy to stay on the road 40 weeks a year for the past five and a half years, but that's almost what I've done. And it's all because you guys have booked me. Uh, you guys have kept my schedule full 
and kept me in high, high demand. And I just want to thank you guys for that. Each and every club that's booked me and every club that's going to book me. All the DJs that I've met, um, you know, great guys, music suggestions, all the girls that I've worked with. Because without the house girls that I've worked with that have brought the customers to the stage to, you know, help me get tipped on certain nights, I swear without you guys, I wouldn't have a job. I mean, literally gotta have a club to work in so thank you guys so very much my agents for keeping me booked you know I just I want to thank my agents thank for all guys um, my best friend Rochelle Larie uh, my friend Rochelle Ryan Lisa Licious Mary Carey you guys um, in the feature industry you guys really help me promote the voting and push me through my assistant Andy I swear to God he needs a freaking gold medal he needs to medal in helping my ass be crazy on the road because <laughs> it, it, it's not easy um playboy radio you lovely ladies um gave me a radio spot i called in and the response was amazing i had like hundreds i'd say like a hundred followers on twitter the next two days after you guys and you know what same with the guys the regular guys in atlanta you guys freaking rock i've known you guys forever you guys have watched my career grow and you guys have helped my career grow so thank you guys sbk radio um we met actually because I heard you guys talking about me on the radio, so I called in. And uh, friends ever since. Thank you guys for letting me do a call in while I was promoting myself like a machine. <laughs> I had a lot of call ins that week, and I had bronchitis, so it was really hard for me to talk on the radio. So thank you guys all for bearing with me. Um, I have a long list to you guys, so, you know, I just want to warn you because I had a lot of help so y'all made the list my friend Jason in Atlanta who has been uh, a major promoter of alternative lifestyle and fetish and things like that and that's really actually how I got started I actually go-go'd um, for his events years and years and years and years ago and I just want to say thank you Jason for still to this day always including me in the cool shit and promoting me I know you got my back I know the people that have my back um, Tony Batman, same thing. You always believed in me in this industry, and thank you so much for pushing me and promoting that. Horrornews.net, I sent you guys the story and you guys published it, and I love you guys for it. Ever since you guys published my story about being in Halloween 2, thank you so, so much. Love the Horrornews.net. Um, Brett Balmer of Excitement Magazine in Atlanta. Uh, you covered the story about my nomination and the voting and you pushed it through and thank you so much for doing that because obviously, you know, all you guys, it worked. Um, got a Cheyenne, one of my most favorite dominatrixes in Atlanta. She is a sexy lady and she helped promote all over the internet. And you know, the entire fetish community in Atlanta, thank you guys because you guys uh, definitely helped me spread the word. Also, and yes, I'm reading this so I don't forget anybody. Uh, Roxy Delight and Jack Bowie and Miss Satan's Angel. You guys, um, some of you know, I've met some of you, I haven't met some of you. Uh, of course, Satan's Angel and Roxy Delight, you guys are close to my heart. And Jack Bowie across the oceans, you guys retweeted for me every time I put it up about the voting. The entire burlesque community. You know, I've dabbled in that a little bit, and I've been around to some of the conventions and the expos and the festivals and things like that, and you guys definitely helped me cross-promote. Uh, we're like, I'm like the evil twin of burlesque, I guess, <laughs> in the strip clubs. You know, so thank you guys so much. When I reached out to you, you guys helped me promote, and I really appreciate that. Um, speaking of which, Shane Morton and Lucas Godfrey, and the entire Atlanta horror community. Also, you guys freaking rock. Um, you know, I some of you guys I've known for a really long time. I grew up at some of the first monster bashes <laughs> in Atlanta. And uh, years and years later, you guys are still helping me promote. And I just really want to say thank you for that. Um, also, Jennifer, uh, who helped me twirl some baton. I think I have some really embarrassing footage of that of my lessons <laughs> for my show in Vegas and I just want to say thank you for that because it takes a patient patient woman and that you are so thank you <laughs> also um, all of you guys my fans and my friends 
uh, people that haven't directly helped me put together my show. People that have been in the audience and on my Facebook and on my Twitter and uh, people that have come up to me after my shows and things like that, you know, you guys might not have helped me glue on sequins or, you know, helped me put together uh, an ad in the magazine, but you know what? You guys are the reason that I'm doing this. You guys are the real reason I'm doing this. And you guys came through for me because I swear to God, I saw people that I have not seen in years on my Facebook, somebody that I saw in the audience at a club in the middle of somewhere across the country, um, getting their friends and their friends' cousins and their cousin's grandma to vote for me. And I mean, it sounds funny, but seriously, literally, it was a grassroots attempt and it worked. So I love you guys. You. And I felt the love this year because <laughs> you know what, guys? Right here. Might have my name on it, but. This is all of you guys. It's all of you guys that have supported me and loved me and booked me and followed me on all the social networks and helped promote me and everything. You know, it's all of you guys. So I just want to say thank you so much. Mwah!